I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the Osage Orange. Osage Orange, Maclura palmifera, is the only species in the Maclura genus, and it is a member of the Moraceae, or the mulberry family. It is also known as hedge apple, mock orange, and bow wood. It is a small to medium-sized tree that averages about 35 to 65 feet tall. Trees tend to have a short, stout trunk and a rounded crown. The Osage Orange was commonly used as a windbreak in the prairie states and its large, unusual looking fruit resembles a large, bumpy apple, thus its name, Hedge Apple. The native range of Osage Orange was limited to a narrow band in southern Arkansas, southern Oklahoma, and northeast Texas. As you can see in the map, it's the green part on the map. Today it has been introduced into most of the continental United States and has become naturalized throughout much of eastern and midwestern United States. In Kentucky, it is found in the central to northern central part of the state into western Kentucky. The native and naturalized populations are found on rich bottomlands and sandy terraces. It often occurs in thickets along fence rows, in ditches and ravines, as well as in overgrazed pastures. In Kentucky, we often find it growing with eastern red cedar, black walnut, hickories, elms, and honey locust. It is classified as intermediate to intolerant of shade and is considered a pioneer species on sites. Osage orange is a deciduous tree with alternately arranged simple leaves that are pinnately veined with veins radiating on both sides from one midrib out to the end of the leaf, as you can see in the photo. They are oblong to egg-shaped with entire or smooth margins. The upper surface is green and shiny, and in fall, the color is typically golden to yellow. Osage orange is dioecious, which means trees have either male or female flowers. The female flowers are in dense round clusters, and the male flowers are in roundish racemes, and neither are especially showy. The flowers bloom in later sp spring into early summer, and the flowers are wind-pollinated. The fruit is very distinctive. It looks like a bumpy ball. It is actually a brown collection of multiple droops that each contain a seed. The outer surface is bumpy and many describe it as looking like brains. It's about two to five inches in diameter and it's usually yellowish green to bright green in color. It has a citrus smell and exudes a milky white juice if crushed. The fruit matures in early autumn and trees begin producing seed around 10 years of age and are most productive between 25 and 65 years of age. Good seed crops are produced most years and the seeds are dispersed by animals, gravity, and water. Trees can also reproduce vegetatively from stump sprouts. The bark is orange-brown and develops scaly thick ridges with irregular furrows. The twigs are usually armed with stout unbranched thorns located at each leaf scar and the twigs also exude a milky sap when cut. The wood is heavy and straight grained. The heartwood is golden to bright yellow, which will darken with age and exposure to light. It is a ring pore species with large to very large early wood pores, about two to three wide. That's the wood that's formed in the early part of the growing season. With small late wood pores, which is wood that's formed later in the growing season, and you can see that in the middle photo. The pores are filled with tyloses and growth rings are easy to distinguish. The wood is extremely durable and is considered one of the most decay resistant woods in North America. Osage orange can be confused with black locust and mulberry wood, but a few key differences are Osage orange is heavier and the wood releases a water soluble dye, which is yellow, if you put the shavings into water. Osage orange is limited to moderately valuable for wildlife. The trees provide shelter for a variety of wildlife, especially small mammals, that will use the thorny trees for cover. The fruit is bitter tasting and eaten by just a few animals, including the squirrels, fox, red crossbill, and occasionally northern bobwhite. And woodpeckers use the trees as forage sites for insects. Osage orange generally is not harvested for lumber due to its crooked and knotty trunks and its size. The wood, however, is used for board or small turning blocks. The wood is used for small specialty items like bowls, and it's also used for fence posts, archery bows, and musical instruments. 
Osage orange wood extractives have been used for food processing and in pesticide manufacturing and dye making. And the trees are occasionally used in landscaping, but since the tree does not self-prune its lower branches that have died and the fruit is messy, consideration should be taken when using this tree in landscaping. Also, if using in landscaping, look for the thornless male variety. The national champion Osage Orange as of 2021 is in Charlotte, Virginia. It is 328 inches in circumference, 65 feet tall, with a 93 foot crown spread. The Kentucky champion Osage Orange is in Madison County. It is 240 inches in circumference, 72 feet tall, with a 104 foot crown spread. Now for a few fun facts about Osage Orange. Early settlers of the Great Plains used Osage Orange for hedgerows. The thorny branches formed impassable hedges which were used to fence in livestock. The early French settlers named the trees Bow de Arc or Bow Wood because they observed the wood being used for bow making by Native Americans. The common name Osage is derived from the Osage Native Americans who shared young plants with early colonial explorers according to the notes of Meriwether Lewis in 1804. There are numerous historic Osage orange trees, including one on the grounds of Fort Herod, a Kentucky pioneer settlement in Harrodsburg, Kentucky. The scientific genus named Maclura is named in honor of William Maclure, 1763-1840, who was a Scottish-born American geologist, and the species name Pomifera means fruit-bearing, referring to the large distinctive fruit. I hope you get the opportunity to get out into your woodland, a local park, or neighborhood and enjoy the beautiful Kentucky trees, including the distinctive Osage Orange.